This episode of Overworked History is a continuation of my previous episode about automata, the predecessors to the robot. Leonardo da Vinci created his own automata. One, called da Vinci's Knight, was an artificial knight powered by a crank. It could sit, stand, lift its visor, and turn its head. He also designed a mechanical lion, created in honor of Louis XII. According to legend, it could open its chest to reveal the French coat of arms. Working replicas of both da Vinci's knight and wine have been created. One of the most famous automata from this time was the mechanical monk. Created by clockmaker Juanero Tiriano for Philip II of Spain, it was intended to be a recreation of Franciscan friar Diego de Alcala. The mechanical monk was completed in the 1560s and stands around 15 inches tall. It can imitate walking and facial expressions, and realistically simulates a praying monk. Today housed by the Smithsonian, the 450-year-old monk is still operational. During the Renaissance, intricate fountains with mechanical components also became popular. Even after the Renaissance, automata became more popular and more intricate. One of the most well-known was a duck created by Jacques de Valkensen of France. The duck could rise, eat a small bit of grain, and defecate. It was called the digesting duck. The famed scientist Voltaire said, Without the duck of Valkinson, you would have nothing to remind you of the glory of France. Sadly, it has been lost to history. A similar device was the silver swan, built by James Cox and John Joseph Merlin in 1773. The swan gave the illusion of swimming through water, eating fish. La Jeuse de Tarpenon was made for Marie Antoinette by David Rontgen, and could play a musical instrument called a dulcimer. Swiss inventor Pierre Jacquet Jaws was a master of automata. Originally a clockmaker, he created a series of deux automata. Each of these automata had eyes which followed the movement of their hands, enhancing the illusion. All deux is still functional. During the start of the 19th century, automata lost some of their novelty and fell out of favor. The automata were once the height of mechanical sophistication and are still amazing pieces of technology. Thank you.